Investigators say someone driving by was the first to see and report the flames. Two News reporter Jake Ryle joins us live to explain why firefighters had trouble getting to where they needed to be. Well, Brooke, the landscaping company behind me actually just opened several minutes ago. In fact, you're able to take a look behind us and see uh, uh, really our first look at the damage with the daylight now hitting. You're able to see that roof is damaged, pretty uh, significant damage there to the upper part of the roof. Now, crews are out and about right now just trying to... Uh, wipe off all of the equipment that is still able to be used for their work day to day. Now, crews responded, though, to the 1000 block of Brant Street just after 1 30 on a report of a fire. And when they arrived at Brightview Landscaping, they found flames shooting from the roof. And they had several challenges, though. First, the uh, fire crews had to cut open a fence. Then those crews had to pull around a hose for more than 1000 feet. And then their focus was on a roof that had several layers, making it difficult for crews to put it out. As for officials, they tell us the fire is believed to be accidental and might have actually started from some equipment that overheated. Appears one of their uh, pieces of equipment or several of them caught fire and uh, it was all closed up and it, they, they may have almost burnt themselves out before the uh, little bit of fire uh, made it up onto the roof and, and kept the roof going. Now, some of the equipment was damaged. What you're looking at right now is actually crews just spraying off some of their vehicles that were inside those garages as well. We're going to be checking in with these uh, business owners to find out if they are going to be opening up and if what time they'll be opening up as well. For now, reporting live in Dayton, Jake Ryle, 2 News Today, working for you.